Sign time. <laughs> it's gonna be a spoken word video. <laughs> Rhyme time with the light sign. <laughs> The incline to the sign yeah. sign. That's <laughs> a sign sign. We're gonna make this. Yeah, let's. We're gonna. We already made it. But we're already gonna make it. <laughs> we're gonna rewind and show you the process yeah. of doing it. So let's go. <laughs> Woo! This is my friend Sarah. She's a jewelry maker, an illustrator, a painter, the owner of Viv Jewelry, and a fellow Toronto-based creative. She's also a content creator, and after doing some big numbers on Instagram and TikTok, she's putting a lot of energy into YouTube these days, and she's coming out with some fantastic videos. You should definitely go check out her channel. I thought that her painting combined with my making would make a really cool collaboration, so we started brainstorming project ideas. After I made the Think Bigger sign, I knew immediately that I wanted to make one with Sarah's logo and have her paint the backing board in her distinctive style. She was in, so she sent over her logo and I got to work. All the design work that you see here was done in Fusion 360, and you might notice that the text in Sarah's logo, where it says Viv Jewelry, isn't present in the sign. We decided to leave this out in case she wants to rebrand her business in the future. The three triangles in the circle, those actually spell Viv, which I didn't realize for an embarrassingly long amount of time. Those are 3D printed shells which I filled with lights. By offsetting them from the face of the sign, you get this really beautiful backlight effect. The two branches and the lines above the eye are too thin to print as shells, but I still wanted to 3D print these elements to make all the black elements of Sarah's logo look cohesive. The 3D printed shells are attached to the sign with machine screws, and when I made the Think Bigger sign, I learned that if these screws are on the outside edge of the lights, they'll cast a noticeable shadow on the sign. So I made sure to position each screw far enough from the edge so that I could run the LED strip lights on the outside of the screws. If a 3D printed piece is really thin, light can shine through it, and I wanted to be sure that the shell walls were thick enough to completely block the light from the LEDs. I printed these pieces out of black PETG, and three perimeters were enough to make them completely opaque. I love using this textured sheet on my 3D printer because it transfers that texture onto the bottom of prints and gives them this super cool, almost galaxy effect. It also hides the print lines, making the bottom of a print look more uniform than if you printed it on a smooth sheet. These beautiful bottom faces will be facing outwards in the final sign. With the shell pieces printed, the next step was to attach the nuts. These nuts allow the machine screws to hold the shells off the front of the sign. As you can see, I added slight indentations so I knew where to put the nuts, but this didn't provide any sort of mechanical hold. I had to use super glue and hot glue to actually hold the nuts in place. For my next sign, I want to extend these indentations upwards to form a full collar around the nuts. This would make for a much stronger, simpler connection that doesn't rely on glue. The sign is illuminated with stick-on LED strip lights. These are all over Amazon, but I'll leave a link to the ones that I used in the description. These LEDs are bright daylight white, and they come with a dimmable AC power adapter. They're great for making light-up signs, because you can cut them to any length along the marked areas, fold them around corners, and use the adhesive backing to stick them to your piece. Then, you just have to solder the individual strips back together in parallel. Installing the lights in the three triangles was pretty straightforward. The real challenge was lighting up the dot over the eye. I cut the shortest possible LED strip and carefully wrapped it around the inside edge of the 3D printed shell. Luckily, the strip was the perfect length. Now that I had all the lights installed, I headed out to the garage to cut out the backing board from 3 quarter inch MDF. I tied my jigsaw to a nail and used that to cut a circle out of the MDF. If you use this technique, just make sure that your cord doesn't stretch. A piece of wire might work better than a string. I wanted to make a paper template so I could accurately mount the 3D printed pieces on the sign. 
In Fusion, I use the Export to Origin plugin, which is a super useful tool that allows you to export Fusion geometry as SVGs. By saving this as a PDF and printing it in poster mode, I was able to make the template from your run-of-the-mill 8.5 by 11 printer paper. After drilling the mounting holes, I painted the circle a matte white to give Sarah a nice uniform canvas. At this point, the sign was finally ready for Sarah's artwork, so I hopped on my bike to bring it to her place across the city. So basically, these are the pieces. And I was able to get lights in the eye, the dot of the eye as well. Ooh, cool. So all of those parts will be like yeah. illuminated. Yeah, I had a house fire going up, so anything with like oh, really? fire, I'm like, oh. I don't, it, it'll, it'll all get buttoned up and like safe. Ooh. So all of these will be attached together. And then oh, cool. if you, it'll be kind of like this. If you've ever done an install in someone else's space, you know how many random things you have to bring with you. Now imagine fitting all of those things into a backpack. I had to make some sacrifices. One drill, no water bottle, but somehow I fit everything in that backpack and I was ready to bike over to Sarah's to do the final assembly and installation. Huge part of your work. Yeah. Oh, it was such a big thing. And like, um, we before this one, we actually looked at one on the thirty-fifth floor. They're popping out. Ready. Alright, so unlit. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm obsessed. <laughs> yes.
like the middle of oh, there. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. And then like I film here, and I like sometimes film here. So like if I film here more, like it would be right in the background. Yeah. I don't think there's any other things I can put in. These look so good. Oh, thank you. I saw those on your Instagram. <laughs> Oh, she's posing. <laughs> the lighting is so good in here. 